Most of us are able to intuit mechanical heating, spark, fuel, air. Not so much with cooling. There are two non-obvious rules of physics needed to visualize the compression refrigeration cycle, the air conditioning cycle. The first rule is that the heat of vaporization is powerful. It just takes a lot of heat to change a liquid into a gas. In this process of changing a liquid to a gas, we will call interchangeably evaporation or boiling, depending on which word seems more intuitive for the process that we're trying to describe. But for our purposes here, we can think of them as the same thing. Now, the reverse of that holds also. We require heat to change to a gas, but we produce heat when changing a gas to a liquid, and we'll call this condensation. So coolant that is evaporating or boiling is cold, and coolant that is condensing is warm. That's important. The second rule of physics we need to buy into before proceeding is as follows. The boiling point of a fluid is a function of pressure. You already knew it was a function of temperature, but it's also a function of pressure. Low pressure induces boiling. You may think of low pressure as kind of pulling apart the denser liquid molecules and thus changing their state to a gas. High pressure induces condensation. Again, we can think of high pressure compressing the dispersed gas molecules into a denser liquid.